Hi everyone, it's Norm here in southeastern Manitoba's Tall Grass Prairie Preserve. On today's episode, we're in search of the small white lady slipper. This is uh, one of my personal favorites and we look forward to seeing this beautiful little orchid as it blooms every June. When we're talking about IDing characteristics of this small white lady slipper, it really is all in the name. So first of all, small. You can see the orchid in front of me, and it is quite tiny, especially compared to the rest of the tall plants and grasses that grow here in the preserve. So it can grow upwards of 10 to 35 centimeters in height, so it is quite small. Second part of the name is white, and that has to do with the bloom. So the bloom is white, but there is some purple streaking in there as well. Pretty hard to see on the camera, but when you look at pictures, you can pick that up. Now the next part of the naming and IDing characteristic is my favorite, that's the Lady Slipper. So such an interesting name came around pretty easily just due to the fact that that's how it looks. It looks like a slipper. And the reason that it looks like a slipper is actually all to do with reproduction and pollination. So when a uh, pollinator such as a bee enters into the flower itself, that intricate shape is like a temporary trap and it forces the pollinator to move past reproductive parts. Some researchers have watched these bees in the flower for over 15 minutes at a time as they try to work their way out. Now they collect pollen from one orchid and then move to the next. It's a pretty interesting and a highly adaptable process that this orchid has done. And the other ID characteristics would be uh, the leaves themselves, which are a nice green color, and there's usually two to four of them surrounding that bloom. And that bloom, by the way, can take upwards of 16 years to first come up. Small white lady slippers are mostly found in open areas that have calcium rich soils. So these open areas in the prairies are usually opened from things like wildfires or even browsing from animals. Now where I'm standing right now, the preserve staff have actually done something to mimic these natural occurrences. So what they've done is a technique called brush mowing, essentially trimming down all the vegetation to push back that woody encroachments. So you'll be able to see, if you look a little bit farther, what this area would like if we didn't do this brush mowing. Small white lady slippers are native to eastern North America and here in Canada, they're only found in Ontario and most of their population in Manitoba. Now that Manitoban population is mostly found here in the tall grass prairie preserve. So about 50 to 90% of that total population found right here. It's a little bit hard to gauge the exact populations uh, for a few reasons. Uh, remember that 16 years to bloom, well, that's a late maturity. So that's number one. Uh, they have a pretty intricate underground root system and uh, that will make it a bit difficult as well. And also a short flowering period. What we do know is that the small white lady slippers numbers are decreasing. So why are the small white lady slippers a species at risk? Well, we can talk all day about uh, the loss of habitat, but what I want to do is talk a little bit more about really the special type of habitat that these grow in on a very small level, which is a particular type of soil and a fungi that's found in the soil. So this fungi is essential for the early stage development of the orchid. In fact, they totally rely on this fungi to help uh, with the growth 
at that early stage because the plant cannot properly photosynthesize yet for itself until it gets the uh, green leaves. So that's very important for them. Now, a problem that has happened in the past is actually folks wanting to bring these plants home with them. So they'll actually, well really it's poaching, they'll dig them up, bring them home, planting them in their garden. What they don't realize is your back garden doesn't have that special soil in it, that special fungi in the soil, so they don't really last. All right, so in Manitoba, uh, about 80% of our small white lady slippers are in and around roadways, making them easy access for poaching activities. Here in the tall grass prairie, we really do have a special area. Now, there's other things like hybridization with other lady slippers, overuses of pesticides and fertilizers as well that can have a negative effect on a small way. Thanks for watching this episode on the small white lady slipper. This really is a unique flower found here in the tall grass prairie preserve in southeastern Manitoba. We'll see you next time.